where do we learn and refine our skills at making quality content? For me, I learn and refine my skills making quality content by seeing it. What I see, then I learn how to make it. When I see amazing content, then that teaches me how to make it. And at the same time, when I watch crap and junk that's not quality content, it teaches me the same thing. Therefore, what I consume and take in dictates what kind of quality content I'm willing to put out. I am grateful for going to Alcoholics Anonymous every day. I see a lot of examples of quality content. People raising their hands and sharing really uncomfortable truths that are going on that day in their lives. People doing speaker meetings who share amazing things about their sex lives, about their criminal and violent history, and about their most shameful, embarrassing parts of their lives. That is where I learn what quality content is. I've watched some stand-up comedy that's shown me what quality content is. Wow, does this guy have courage to make a joke like that, which reveals so much about his own inner world. I've watched videos online and courses and seen this is what makes amazing content. This is a course that makes a big difference in my life. I listen to audiobooks by Wayne Dyer. I'm on right now, Brene Brown. Brene Brown, the Power of Vulnerability workshop she did, that is great content. I was listening to that with a hangover, just really wanting to do better in my life about five years ago, and I cried. Something that provokes and helps me feel emotion, that's quality content. And when that happens, that is a good opportunity for me to study and learn it. I generally like and prefer nonfiction, but things like Harry Potter, Harry Potter to me is quality content. That is amazing. The stories that are shared in there, even though you might say it's nonfiction. And there's lots of things that are fiction and nonfiction that are not quality content, that just for some reason don't have that emotional impact. And it is different for all of us. What impacts you emotionally may not impact me emotionally. While some students may be taking this course like, oh my God, this is the highest quality course I've ever taken on Skillshare. Others probably sitting there, you know, this is just more same of the generic crap from Jerry. That's fine. When we see that quality content is relative, we realize the only person we really need to focus on in terms of quality content is ourselves. What we feel from our heart is quality content. That is our quality content. And the way we get the best focus is to see how it's impacting others. I have choose not to do my stand-up comedy today because the impact of that on others is not nearly as good as these gaming videos that I do, that the tutorial videos, the classes I do. There's a lot of quality content I can make. And how do I choose what to make out of what I'm passionate about?